see this white hair. I think I've been super stressed out. I'm wearing this set from Marie Young. This is the same Wallace crop that I love, but it's like a light blue, which I really love because I'm like, spring is coming. And then these are the Ferris shorts. So they're bike shorts and thrifted cardigan. And that's the vibe. I just did my bed. I'm going to maybe make a tea. on my bed right now because I want to take a little bit of time to slow down, reconnect with the present and focus on my breathing. These past two weeks specifically have been so hard and that's why I didn't post a video last week. But thank you for all the love on the loft tour. I'm so happy that all of you are enjoying it. Um, and I don't really want to force myself right now to like create when I am not in the right headspace for it. So look at my writing. I've been journaling a ton as you can see. I'm almost done this notebook, which I'm proud of. In the beginning, I think I was like trying to just cope with all of this like worldly shit, right? It's like, why is the world so messed up? I don't know, feeling the anxiety from like racism and from climate change. Like they're all things that can get super overwhelming because we're thinking in this worldview, right? It's like us against like the world, like the system. I think it was good to like dial back and realize the power that I have just with like what I can offer to the world. At least I'll help contribute in some way and that's what matters to me. I have what I have to offer and I think that goes the same for like all of you. Younger me would have looked up to who I am now with such awe and respect and like love, you know? And I would be such an inspiration to my past self. And I think that means so much in terms of how far I've already come. I'm trying to remember that and like that makes me feel good every single day versus feeling guilty about not doing enough or, you know, not being able to check off things on this to-do list with my high expectations. It's like, no, like we're still in a pandemic. Like there's so much wrong with the world. I have a full-time job besides you know creating content and we're in a pandemic like of course it's hard to be productive and i think capitalism makes us feel like we need to make everything make money or something you know what i mean all i'm trying to say is i hope that if you've been feeling like overwhelmed um, and powerless to everything that's going on just know that you have power and that it's also okay to rest like you don't have to always be thinking about how to educate or how to help contribute to change you know like your individual impact matters and so does your like individual wellness and like taking care of yourself okay quickly change this is actually my workout like uh bra and bike shorts but I have a thrifted suede shirt on top. It's kind of like my artist smock, you know? Um, but I just like it because if I get any paint anywhere, it'll go on this. And then I have socks on because the floor is cold. Oh. 
Okay. So last time I painted this painting because we had a work paint night and I think it turned out pretty cute. I kept the little baggie that I used too. I am so smart. I think that's my inspo pick for today. Tushy, do you see? Because it's so wide it like doesn't proportionately go like flow well with my space like I feel like if I did the like boobies and the hips it would have flowed better because it's longer there's my bum painting the like slowest chillest day today because the snowstorm is crazy here heart goes out to everybody that's um in texas right now i hope that you're doing okay because that shit is cray super like stressed out and tired so that's why i'm wearing a beanie today and just my typical outfit this top is new though this top i have been loving it's from a local toronto woman-owned brand and they produce ethically and the fabric is super, super soft. So I'll leave them linked below and I might ask for a code for you too, but loving this like neckline because it's a little bit more unique. This is a recycled cashmere beanie from Organic Basics and then you guys know these joggers. So I like this because I had like a meeting for work today and it looked cool on Zoom.
don't know why I use the smallest bowl ever, but I'm so excited to eat this. It's also really hot. Mm. I'm holding this bowl so weird. You know when you don't remember your password for something? Oh my god, I tried like 50 combinations and then I realized that I had saved it somewhere. So we are good, but that took like two hours. No? Wow, I look crazy. Oof. I mean, if you've been doing your taxes with me, I hope that it's going better for you than it is for me. <laughs> That's it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed. I miss all of you so much. And I'm just going with the flow right now, going with my energy, where it takes me whenever I have enough energy to create content right now and balancing all of it with my mental health and just take care of myself. So this is a little reminder to take time for yourself too. And yeah, I'm gonna go watch some K-dramas, put on a mask. I'll probably actually spend time editing this video because it's actually Saturday and this is gonna be for tomorrow while you're watching this, it's Sunday. Anyway, this is a very long outro, but I love you and I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a good Sunday and a good start to your week. I hope that you're, you know, taking time for you, reclaiming your rest and I'll see you in my next one. Bye everyone.